2010 Northside Educators of the Year represent the best in teaching, from rookies to veteran educators. Here are our profiles of the three elementary educators of the year, including the district's nominee for the Trinity Prize for Excellence in Teaching. These educators represent Boone, Esparza, and Kuntz Elementary Schools. Okay, who can tell me what our first word is? There's always something to write home about in Sarah Alejandro's kindergarten classroom at Boone Elementary School. Every Friday, students write letters to their moms and dads, telling them what they've learned that week. Sarah then reads parents' responses out loud, bringing big smiles to her students' faces. Dear Trace, Mommy said she had fun with you at the zoo. Maybe we could... Come on up, Sarah. You're simply the best. Sarah is the 2010 First Year Elementary Educator of the Year. Her quiet demeanor puts students at ease, and she lets them know how much she cares about each of them. Sarah recognizes that even though she is new to the profession, she plays an important role as a child's first teacher. Come in and, um, you know, just take it a day at a time. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed. And, you know, anytime you think that you're not making a difference, just look at your kids and, and know that you are. Students know they have an important job, too. To help her and keep her going, because that's the only thing that keeps her going is this kinder class. Sarah grew up wanting to be a teacher, but surprised herself at how quickly she felt comfortable in the classroom. Very good, ASK, very good. I knew coming in that I would like it and I would love it eventually, but I loved it from the very beginning. I had no idea that I would love it this much. You know, um, I feel blessed to get to call this my job, and um, there's nothing else in the world that I would rather be doing. One minute to put them up there, go. Whether it's testing their knowledge of the moon phases with a lively game, or learning about friction with toy cars and ping pong balls, Daniel Leha wants his students up and moving. That's when the learning really happens. Daniel Leha Esparza Elementary School. The fifth grade teacher at Esparza Elementary School is the 2010 Elementary Educator of the Year. After more than 20 years in the military, Daniel has been teaching for 10 years, six of them in Northside. He shares his love of science with students school-wide, hoping to spark their curiosity. How many inches? I try to bump it up and I really like to challenge my kids and think where they're they're going places where they're, they're not sure about themselves, but I want them to take that risk. And once they've taken it and they're successful, it's, it's just like little sponges. They want more and more and more. So it's trying to keep ahead of them with challenging labs. Students appreciate the challenge because they know they're not alone. What makes them special that he's funny when like times are kind of hard. And so we enjoy that very much. Mr. Leia, he's funny and he, he's pretty, and he's smart and he teaches us wonderful things. And it's fun to be in his costume because he gives us these, he lets us absorb things that he's talking about. Look at the blade. Mr. Leha is available to talk anytime. He gives out his cell phone number so students and parents can always reach him. I don't see teaching as a job, I see it as a passion. And I want to make myself available for these kids 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And even when they leave me, I want to be there for them because they need that person uh, that they know cares about them no matter where they go or what they do. For someone who calls his students the center of his universe, Daniel Leha's level of dedication is not surprising. It's amazing. And you're so, and you're lost. Entering the music room at Kuntz Elementary School is entering the eye of the tiger. Mary Lee Campbell Towel. 
Music teacher and Trinity Prize nominee Mary Lee Campbell Towell has been teaching for 30 years, but this is her first year in Northside. It's been great. It's, it's been good for me to grow. You know, after 30 years, it's like a whole brand new start. So, and it's refreshing. As the first music teacher at Koontz, Lee composed the school song, which emphasizes one family, one home. It sounds like the environment she has created, greeting students at the door, encouraging them to do their best, and always putting them in motion. It's been really neat because um, when I first got here, everything I do is movement. So when I first got here, um, I, you know, we moved a lot and they were very uncomfortable with it. They were like, we're going to move in the, in the music room and they'd say, isn't this like P.E.? So uh, it's very, very active. Students certainly seem to enjoy the variety, easily switching between singing, dancing, sign language and playing musical instruments. It sounds musical in here. I like it because I like to dance. I've always loved music ever since I was little, but being with her, it just goes up to a whole new level. Most don't realize they are guided by someone who turned to music to overcome her shyness. I've always written music. I've always loved music. Um, when I was a child, I was really, really shy and uh, had a lot of trouble communicating with people. But I always loved singing and playing the guitar. I was always in the talent show. And that was just, I guess that was my way of um, being able to express myself. Koontz kids are using music to express themselves in new ways because of this outstanding veteran educator. Good, very, very nice.